Hi, this is the day of Queen Elizabeth's funeral. They have moved her to um, the funeral site and everybody is piling in, lots of cars. And it's really neat the way they have the cars coming in because the cars are coming in according to the next person to be seated so people don't have to crawl all over each other or do any kind of adjustment. They just come in and then they sit down next to um, the person that's there and it's very orderly and pretty quick. Now this church is really, really filled. There are a lot of people there sitting and I don't know how long these people have been sitting, but it looks like they must have been sitting for quite a while because there are so many people inside the church. A lot of those people are old and I don't see how they do it because a lot of old people have to go to the bathroom frequently and so putting them into a church and then taking a good deal of time just to get people in the door before the service even starts, I don't see how they keep all the people from having to go to the bathroom. Well, one of the things they might be doing is having them wear diapers so that they can actually just wet the diaper and then they won't have to worry about having to get up and go to the bathroom and then try to get back to a seat because that would be in this room or rooms very very impossible very crowded the other thing um, for the men mostly you could wear a catheter so that the urine could go straight from the catheter and into a urine bag which would be attached to the leg under the pants and so that there would not be any disruption um, when you did have to go. Just of course make sure the bag isn't leaking or something because you don't want to end up with a sloshy wet foot or a big stain around your foot. So, And even women who are menstruating, you know, sometimes when you have a very heavy flow, if you're one of those people, this can be just disastrous to have to be stuck in a packed church for so long while everybody is coming in in a rather orderly manner. They're going to show us a picture here of the, oh no, that's just the crowd. They're going to show us a picture here in a minute of all those people sitting in there so you can get an idea of how packed that church is. Justin Trudeau just entered. Um, we saw some people from the Arab countries, some people who look like they were probably from African countries go in. Or maybe the islands. It could be people from islands because they have a lot of islands that are in the Commonwealth. Oh, that's our favorite little people. That's William, Harry, and Charles getting let in. Oh, that was kind of convenient for us to see that. That means they must be very close to calling it full and moving ahead with the ceremony. Now, last night they did have that big reception. Um, held by the firm, sponsored by, or headed by Charles, and they did disinvite Harry, but lots of people, when you see all these people, lots of people did not get in a, uh, a chance to attend that party, so Harry was one of many people 
that did not go to that reception. Although he was a family member, he, as we all know, is not a working royal. So they chose to exclude him. Now we certainly hope that everything is real secure. We know that they're doing the ring of still. They have all kinds of security in place because this is a lot of people packed into that church. No one would be able to move if something happened in that church. So we are all wishing for the best, hoping everything goes well, smooth. And I don't know if they're allowed to bring cell phones in. Will people be allowed to record anything on their phones or do pictures? It's hard to know whether or not they're even allowed to bring cell phones. Of course, some cell phones do have problems with spontaneous combustion.